Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to make things glow. I'm going to show you all different types of glows as you can see here. This is a full shot glow. This glow is an extra glow that's applied just to these objects. I could turn that glow on or off. So you can see here that this just the fruits glowing. We've got the whole scene glowing with this glowing even more. And we've even got the ability to change the color of the glow as well. So if you wanted to have this shot, and let's say you wanted these fruits to be glowing, but the rest to be regular, I can show you how to do that too. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff, I'm going to walk you through all of the different types of glowing. So let's get started. The first step here is to select a video that you want to use. I've got one here from Pexels. It was free to use drag and drop that into the timeline. I'm just going to do about two seconds of this video because any more than that it's just going to bog down the computer and make it a little bit slow. So I've got two minutes of video here if I hit spacebar not a whole lot happening just a little twig here moving no biggie. The first step to make glow is to go ahead and hold the alt or the option key down click on the video in the timeline and just push up. That creates a duplicate copy now, making sure you're selected on the top video, go to Effects and look something up called Fast Blur, B-L-U-R. Fast Blur, you will see under Video Effects, obsolete, but it still works just as good. You can use Gaussian Blur or Compound Blur, but Fast Blur is the fastest one to use and it works perfectly fine. Drag and drop that onto the top video. All right, cool. Now head over to your Effect Controls panels. If you don't see the effects, or the effects control panels, just make sure there's a check mark under window effects or check mark or window uh, <laughs> effect controls check mark. There we go. Come on, Curtis, use your words. All right, cool. Over to the effect controls panel, pull it down a little bit. You're going to see fast blur, making sure you've got the top version clicked. Go ahead and increase the blurriness to about 80. You want to go, yeah, we want to go quite blurry on this. You can also click on repeat edge pixels. This just goes ahead and makes the outsides less vignette-like. So either way is fine. Now, what you need to do here to imply the glow to the entire scene, this is everything including the fruit, simply go to the opacity, go to opacity here, and select the blend mode and switch it from normal to screen. Here we go. Regular shot, this is the whole shot in in with the blur in with the glow so this could be all you need to do and if that's it guys thanks for watching the video click off here and maybe subscribe if you want to go down the rabbit hole a little further let's do it the next step here if you want to apply the glow only to these fruit you want to go to the opacity here so you'll see the opacity effect here under by the FX opacity select this free draw bezier or pen tool I'm gonna to do this very roughly I'm just gonna click here I'm going to click here and I'm going to pull down so that I'm just sort of creating a bit of a circle and I'm going to click here and oh, maybe not that was a bit too far I'm going to click here and again this does not have to be perfect and I'll show you why in a second here click here and I'm just going roughly around the edges again this is not perfect and that is perfectly okay because we're going to apply feathering so I'm basically just kind of drawing a little bit of a circle-ish type thing around the fruits and then I'll close it and I'll pull it together oh yeah that's not right okay so I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna click here I'm gonna add a point and boom guys we have a mask now this is not a masking tutorial so I'm not gonna go too far into depth on that if you want to learn about masking got lots of videos on it <laughs> but what you're gonna see here when I click out is you're gonna see that now the fruit is glowing and the rest is not. So this could be all you need to do. And if that's the case, please feel free to click off. If you want to go even further down the rabbit hole, and there's one more hole to go down, let's go ahead and hit Alt and Option, or Option if you're on a PC, and click up and create a third duplicate copy. So now we've got three videos on top of each other, which is kind of wild. So now what we want to do, if we want to adjust the glow of just that fruit, we're going to go ahead and go back into the effects panel and this time we're going to type in the word light and what you're going to see is you're going to see something called lighting effects so if you want to follow along just type in lighting effects 
and you will get another cool option. This is for those of you that want to color the glow. Left click on lighting effects, drag and drop it on the top video. Nothing happens, do not panic. We're gonna go back to the effects controls. Under lighting effects, here's where it gets cool. We're gonna go ahead and select light one and we're gonna go from white, we're gonna change that to dark red. So we're gonna make like this a brightish, reddish, orangish tint. Presto, now we've applied a glow, we've applied a tinted or a relit glow. And if you wanna change the light type from spotlight to directional, it'll give you a little bit more red, guys. And then that's what we've done. So we've started with nothing, regular, added in a glow, we've added in a red tinted glow, and if you want, and I showed you how to make the whole scene glow, that's glowing from zero to 100. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.